Tonight at five on the answer desk, can we get to herd immunity against COVID here in Connecticut? Experts talked about herd immunity as the way to end the pandemic, but what does the term actually mean? And does the drop in demand for the vaccine hurt our chances of getting there? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino asked doctors those questions. He is at the answer desk with some insight. And Mike, what are you hearing? Well, Aaron, there is some growing concerns that we can't get to that herd immunity. And it's not just because of the demand for the vaccine is falling. It's also because we continue to see new mutations of the virus. So when can we return to normal? When we think about the concept of herd immunity kind of completely eradicating the SARS-CoV-2 virus, um, you know, I think we're quite a ways away from that. A growing concern among doctors that we might never reach herd immunity. Half of adults in Connecticut are vaccinated against COVID, but demand is dropping. Other parts of the world are far behind on vaccinations and new variants keep popping up. These are a couple of reasons why I'm a little hesitant when it comes to the whole herd immunity concept. But what is herd immunity? Doctors say it's when enough people are immune to a virus that spread is minimal. You protect not only yourself, but you're protecting those around you, those who may not be able to get the vaccine. Doctors don't know how many people need the COVID vaccine to reach that point but they say we can still vaccinate enough people that it's safe to continue returning to normal. That's because many people are vaccinated and we continue to develop better treatments. What we may see though in the years to come is COVID-19 staying around, smoldering, um, becoming a more manageable viral infection. But what exactly will that normal look like? Doctors say we could see things reopened when COVID cases are down and then some restrictions put back in place if we see a surge. But their doubtful mask wearing indoors in public will end anytime soon. There may be a point where we get to it indoors, but I'm not sure that we're there right now. Now, doctors are particularly worried one of the mutations recently found in India could evade the vaccine, but more studies are needed. If you have a question about something, use the Channel 3 app and loop us in. We'll start making calls and getting answers that you're looking for. Live from the answer desk, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.